game, bruh. Hey guys, it's Chris from Do You Even Game Bro. Today, bringing you a bit of a different video. Uh, recently, both the trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 has dropped. So what I'm going to be doing is going over both of those and sort of explaining sort of the differences, the similarities, and obviously then going through an overall verdict. Now, I'm not going to play the trailers. Um, what I will do though is link them in the description. I'm sure every man and his dog has seen them by now. So that's, I'll leave them in the description and we'll just go over the actual footage itself. So Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is the one I'd like to go over first. Now this is one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. Upon, right, uh, upon um, filming this, it's over 2 million dislikes, over 20 million views, and about 376,000 likes, which you'll see on screen now. Now, for this, this is one of the most hated videos. Um, and I think the reason for that is players uh, have been screaming for a different style of shooter, uh, something like um, the original COD series back in the day. They're over the futuristic warfare. You know, they want something a bit more old school, um, rather than like World War One, World War Two, and I think that's where its biggest downfall is. Um, in the trailer though, it does have hopefully some redeeming features. Um, it did lead towards some form of space battle. Whether that's gonna be in the game though or not is gonna be completely up to, up to them. If they do, however, make it as a space battle, that's definitely gonna improve people's view on it. Uh, in that trailer in particular, there was no in-game footage. So, of course, that was slightly disappointing, but these are the very first trailers for both of them. So, I expect in the coming months, because they're not both released until November, um, that there will be more trailers dropped. Um, so, obviously, when it comes to space battles, you could do stuff like zero gravity in multiplayer and stuff like that. And you can really play and tinker around with it to make it quite amazing if they decide to do it. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, that's going to be the big one. It also looked like there was some form of off-world battles uh, on different set on different worlds. Uh, that could be quite interesting depending on how they play it, you know, uh, extra gravity or something like that instead of zero gravity. Um, they've got they've got very uh, good potential with this game, it's just what they choose to do with it that's going to make the big difference. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the biggest thing about this though is there is a brand new remastered Modern Warfare 1. Now... The thing that they did with it, which is quite cheeky, is they bought it out is in what they call a legacy edition. So you have to buy Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare 1. Um, now with this one, it doesn't look like, it looks like they've completely reskinned it and redone all of it rather than just put it into PS4. So that's really good and I'm really quite excited for that. Hopefully they um, make that work really well. There is, however, this photo. Now this photo here shows a PS4 remastered trilogy. If they announce this, before Infinite Warfare, I don't think Infinite Warfare is going to sell that well. There was an RIP COD uh, trending on Twitter, and that was purely due to the fact that Battlefield 1 also announced and showed their trailer. Now, theirs was only a minute versus three and a half minutes for COD, and me personally, I was more excited for Battlefield, even though I'm not a Battlefield fan, it just looked a lot nicer. So, all in all, Infinite Warfare looks like it's going to be either A, a mess, or they're going to use uh, massive potential and make it absolutely amazing and make it one of the best ones yet. But only they can, you know, we'll have to wait and see to see what happens there. Only they know what their outcome is going to be. Now, the big one is Battlefield 1. Now, this one looks like it is based in, I would say, probably an alternate World War 1. There were some things there that I saw that didn't look like they were from more, one more uh, sorry, from World War 1. So it is called Battlefield 1. It does look like it is loosely based on World War 1, but not exact. Um, but in that, I think they only showed about 5, maybe 10 seconds of in-game footage. It wasn't really a lot, but it did look absolutely beautiful. So hopefully, like I said, over the coming months, they will release their actual uh, gameplay trailers, and that will definitely determine, obviously, which one people are going to lean towards. But the fact that the RIP COD actually got trending on Twitter is massive. There were massive Call of Duty fans that were going oh okay okay crap like what are we going to do it looks like we're gonna have to move and it does look like it's definitely going to be a lot different it's going to be obviously the battlefield simulation and battle play is going to be exactly the same i've personally only played um battlefield 4 and battlefield hardline i personally am not a huge fan of them i know there are people that are absolutely crazed about it but after seeing the trailers i am more excited for battlefield 1 than i am for infinite warfare even i sat there going for battle for our quality it was like eh, same as always but Battlefield 1 definitely looks like they've heard what the players wanted. 
they've made they've invested their time and their money into making it so all in all in my personal opinion i think battlefield one is going to be the game that everyone's going to lean towards so yeah that's my personal opinion let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments down below and i'll see you next time